Greetings and welcome to Die Dragon Die presents the Grimstone Chronicle Season 4, Episode 18. I am your DM and host, Marty, joined by the full Ontario crew. How is everyone doing on this fine uh, Saturday afternoon? Hey, Fox. We're doing good. Good. Uh, Adam is a chair and Ahmed is on mute because I think he's um, doing work stuff at the same time. He's just uh, just just wrapping something up. It's okay. all good. Yep. Yeah, that's good. Mark, uh, how are things? Uh, things are good. Uh, just finished a sixty-hour week, so that's nice to be done. That. Uh, you, you know, I came probably close this week. I worked on Sunday because it's just that busy, mm -hmm. and we had a no meeting Friday, which means that in order to get shit done with my job, you need meetings. So. Yeah. Where you need to be able to talk to people, and people tend to, I don't know, treat no meeting days like no work day. <laughs> <laughs> and then and then we had Friday off last week, which was good, but it made the four days leading up to that just super long, because yeah. it was like it, the same amount of work just gets squished into four days instead of five. So, yeah, I'm, I'm tired. I'm ready for uh, American Thanksgiving next week, which is two days Oh, off. that's right. Yeah. 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 Uh, and then you know a question I'm going to ask you, Mark. How's your Wrath of the Righteous games going? <laughs> it's going well. It's going well. Uh, my Abyssal of Blood Rager is now 13th level, Mythic rank 4. Um, hey, Wither. The difference I'm finding with some of the like feats and, and Mythic powers, like some of them are like, oh my god, that's amazing. And some of them are like, oh my god, that's very, very mediocre. <laughs> like, that's... Yeah, it's the ones where it's like, you get an extra plus one. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Versus um, uh, the demons are no longer immune to fire and have no resistance to it. Go nuts with the fireballs and everything. There's a hidden one in there that if you look at enough builds, it's the it's the elemental fury or barrage or whatever. Mm -hmm. Oh, it, yes. Because if you have two elements or more on your blade, then it starts to do extra mythic damage and... You get like a two weapon fighter with this, or, with the, or an yeah. archer, or something like that. It just things start to explode. Yeah, um, yeah. I have decided. I think I'm going to try because uh, with my abyssal blood rager, because Wendwug's basically a villain and an excellent archer to be. Like I'm like I can't ba really make a better like fighter archer mm -hmm. with with stat wise than Wendwug is. So I'm like I'll just keep her around. And there's some interesting dialogue that pops up. So I think one of my runs through, because there will be several, there will be several. Um, one of them, I, I'm going to try it with only with the NPCs provided. I see. I know. Yeah. Which is how I play the first time through. And then I go, nah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, well, I, I like, like, when I saw like Zen Archer, I'm like, oh, that's awesome. And then I'm like, that's that's not a really great Zen Archer, though. <laughs> what are you doing with a 16 Wisdom, you chump? <laughs> right, right. You, you, you didn't max enough. <laughs> don't, don't you know how your build works? <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep, I agree. <laughs> Uh, I, I'm at the point where I pull them in just for their little character quests. Because yeah, you, can't, well, I, I, you can't physically yeah. go to the location sometimes without yeah. them in the party. Uh, yeah. But I'll just, you know, make my party of killers and then bring them in using the uh, the toy box cheat mod. <laughs> so yeah. you add the seventh just for the adventure and then you drop them afterwards. Yeah, I'm at that point in the, in the game. But uh, good stuff. I haven't played in a while, though. So... Um... I kind of went back to Civ 4 for a while. I watched some war movies. I'm like, ooh, Civ. <laughs> <laughs> and then I watched a space movie, and then, uh, uh, what was it? Picard Season 2, followed by some other space thing, uh, some space anime called uh, Exception. And I'm like, oh, I gotta play some Stellaris. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Well, I also watched, started watching uh, Dota. Yep, your yeah, Defense of Ancients. Yeah, they made yeah. a show. And I, I've made the comment. I'm not a fan of anime, but the the story is is good. The story, yeah. it's, it's a good story. I, I've heard good things about that one. Yeah, and, and like good. I wasn't. I, wasn't I, I although there's, I believe that's the one with the um, nose fix joke animation. Yeah, there's they there's a, they, they do a weird draw like they when they the weird outline of a nose the, thing. Yeah, the, it, the it, nose it triangle. Weird. Yeah, I, I can't. It's like nose every single time. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> exactly. Yep. Yes, that is there for sure. Yeah, all that, that that. Oh, it's the style. No, they didn't have to draw a triangle. Mole, 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 mole. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's, it's that every single time it snaps me out of the fucking uh, out of immersion. the uh, yeah. immersion. No, yeah. but I, I was I watched it right up to the last episode of the first book. I guess they call them. And I was like, it's pretty good. Like I, I got to the eighth one. And then at the end of the eighth one, I'm like, oh, I'm hooked for season two here. Let's go. <laughs> nice. Adam, what's uh, what's up with you? Uh, I beat Alien Isolation. Um, so you're you... not alone anymore? I'm not alone. Uh, well, you end up sort of lost in space all by yourself, so... <laughs> Spoilers. <laughs> <laughs> Spoilers. An Aliens franchise thing has a bad ending. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, it has, like... Um, I don't know if you played the uh, the Tomb Raider remake, like the, the first one, um, where it's like... How bad can we beat the protagonist to piss? And then that one, it's like the opening sequence is just getting the shit kicked out of you for like 20 minutes. The ending of Alien Isolation is getting the shit kicked out of you for like an hour. It's an hour of being exploded and falling off of things and getting knocked out. It's like you have no brain cells left. <laughs> run through the station, fall all the way through the station, run through the station again. Uh, the game was quite fun. Um, it was it was good. It, two thumbs up. If you like That's horror games, it. although it's one where um, play it on normal or easy, the harder levels you need to know what like you, the first for first playthrough you can't actually play it on like the recommended setting. If that's it's too hard. Like the the way the stealth system works is too unforgiving, and the save system is too unforgiving. Um, so playing that, uh, start playing Black Mesa, which is the original Half Life remake in Source. Okay. Where some people just like let's make it in the new engine, and it's fun as hell. Um, and it's like, it's messing with my brain because I'm like, it always looked like this. So then you like, actually, no, no it didn't look. My brain was like, no, who cares about cool graphics? So that no. game is fun. I go uh, back to like PS3 games sometimes, even Xbox 360. I'm like, oh my God, the graphics are shit. <laughs> <laughs> I used to think this was amazing. <laughs> well, it's like, um, they only had like three models for scientists before. Mm hmm. So it was like you'd always have the same three scientists. Like you always yeah. like they, they die, and then you find yeah. the other of the same three scientists in the, like the lab or whatever. And now they've, they've created some more models and this sort of thing. It's you know it's nice. It's, it's you know it feels really fun to jump through and shoot aliens. That that's fun. That's always um, fun. Yeah. My Saturday was half a write off. Uh, I we were supposed to go to the gym in the morning, so we slept in, and then we went for breakfast. And my wife was like. I would have pancakes. I'm like, okay. And it's like, so you're gonna have to help me finish some pancakes. So she ordered something called unicorn pancakes. <laughs> so she ordered a full stack of unicorn pancakes. Okay. So four pancakes, this big around, <laughs> with sprinkles in them and sprinkles on them, and then ice cream on top, and then a unicorn horn made out of cotton candy. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> For breakfast. <laughs> so, <laughs> so that's my kind of pancakes right that's your kind of pancakes so jessica ate she's like i ate half it's like no you had cotton candy you had ice cream and you had one third of two pancakes because <laughs> i could see because you only ate the third <laughs> so i had my breakfast which is like you know like a, a breakfast burrito and some home fries and then it's like Help me finish. <laughs> oh, hang on. I gotta get this. So, yeah. So it turned into like... Which a, was a giant bowl of sugar. Which was a giant bowl of sugar. And then Adam came home and was like, Adam needs to go to the gym, but Adam could use a nap. So then Adam used a nap until uh, 5.50. <laughs> nice. And then toodled downstairs. We gave some text from Marty. I'm like, where are my players? I'm like, oh. <laughs> I was like all set up. It's like 3 o'clock. I'm like... There's no email saying you guys are going to be late. I'm like, oh, where, where is everybody? I was you know, like a couple minutes late to yeah. get from the upstairs yeah. to the downstairs. I'm yeah. eating a salad now to balance out all the sugar. <laughs> I uh. don't know if that's how it works, but sure. Ahmed. It's fine. <laughs> Ahmed, you doing okay? Yep. Just still finishing some work stuff, but nothing uh, new, all good. Nothing new, all good. Okay. Uh, what what did I watch that, was, uh, that stood out? So... The Guillermo, Guillermo del Toro's Cabinet of Curiosities, uh, like eight horror short stories, 
and there was a lot of Cthulhu-esque Lovecraftian elements to the to some of the stories. Mm-hmm. Uh, so yeah, enjoyed most of them. Uh, a good, it was a good watch if you're looking for something to. Goosebumps two was not bad, huh. like the children's horror film, like. <laughs> The second Goosebumps movie, like, legitimately, it was entertaining enough for me to go look up the first one, where they've got Jack Black playing uh, R.L. Stein. Uh, I, I watched it. I was like, we're going to watch a stupid Halloween movie. It's like, this is a, a decent film. We had, I was entertained. Would watch again. You know? <laughs> like, hey, this is seven and a half out of ten. It's a movie. <laughs> you did. <laughs> <laughs> okay <laughs> i don't know if that's in... rushing to the top of my list anytime soon but okay there's oh. a scene in there with a giant balloon based spider monster that's pretty cool like there's some okay. there's some like there's token some worthy vis- visuals okay yeah, yeah yeah that's fine oh mark what oh i, I was uh, i had met i had been meaning to say i watched the movie hereditary has anybody seen that I, I, it's one of those rare times. I'm not a huge horror fan, but this movie is, will 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 fuck up your day. <laughs> this is this is not happy times. <laughs> no, I don't know if I've. Seen... Wait, what, what's it called? It's called the, the, Hereditary. The problem with a lot of the the horror movies, they all kind of blend in together. Like no, it's... no, no. This will not blend in. Okay. No, this is not a Ouija movie or the one with the doll. No, right. no. <laughs> No, no. This one will sit at the back of your brain and go, I'm going to live here and I'm never going away. (laughs) You're going to see things you wish you never see. All right. Well, I'm going to check to see if this actually was watched. Uh, Check to see just real quick to see yeah, if it's just living back there. Yeah, living yeah. Back this there? isn't this isn't a Zombievers recommendation, though I okay. still recommend it. Right. <laughs> Zombievers? This, Zombievers, this yes. is a movie that bugged Mark. Okay. All right. Zombievers. Yeah. I'm so I keep this massive file of things that I've watched to buy if they're ever on sale. I'm just checking to see if hereditary is in there. Yep, it's in there. So whatever So it didn't, I don't know if that speaks to Marty's uh, mind where it's like, eh, a movie. <laughs> like I'm not reading too much into it. 90% on Rotten Tomatoes, 87% okay. on Metacritic, 7.3, it, which is it, amazing. It, so past Marty movie. agrees. I honestly don't remember what the movie is about. So, uh, which means I could go watch it again. Um, cool. Uh, why don't we do a recap what happened last game? Last game is called The Grand, Inqui- the Grand Inquisition. The Steel Rose Expeditionary League and the Inquisitor General do battle with the invading forces in the Grand Council Chambers at Care Overlook. The the Githyanki Lich General Zitharun, atop his Dracolich Mount, arrives to reinforce the attackers. Widget makes a deal with an insectoid demon called Fly on the Wall. Cog receives a message from his Gazeri allies who are holding back an invasion force pouring through a gate in the Mountain Root Temple. And I think the previous game, Thogrim had received a magical plea to assist at Bordron's Watch with instructions of where to go and to meet a dwarf by the name of Ulgum. Just just to say something, there was a... Barnabas, shut the fuck up! I'm trying to do sending! <laughs> followed by, retreat! Followed by, you know what? <laughs> Don't retreat! <laughs> Hold up! <laughs> So I think wh- yourself. while we were, while we were doing the uh, the countdown, the party <laughs> basically um, uh, gathered themselves. This is the aftermath of the battle in the uh, Grand Council Chamber, uh, and it looks like they're they're starting to gather around themselves to form up groups as the party may ten s- rounds of healing was cast may split to um, uh, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> to go do we things. Were- he uh, was beat up. <laughs> yeah, Slake was. Uh, there was ten rounds of combat, and then fourteen rounds after arriving, he woke up. So while you guys were heal- healing, Slake, Slake stood up. Ah, <sighs> oh, fuck! I missed it. <laughs> I told you, my fucker. <laughs> he, he starts going off on nobody in particular, kicking things around. 
uh, General Inquisitor looks like he's tending to some of the troops that are still uh, the that troops, are troops. There was a bunch of AOE healing, so if they were they were close enough, they should. Yeah, they were close enough. They would yeah, yeah, they they would have dragged over some of their fellows um, and lined up for healing, definitely. It appears that you are required elsewhere," says says the general inquisitor. He's a, he's approaching Brenos. They, they mentioned they were still at the temple. Then cleanse. I already the... told them there that there was an inquisition, and it ain't fucking done. Cleanse the stone anvil of all those who would corrupt civilization by any means necessary. All hail the five-faced god. Whoever else will nod, he won't hail the five-faced god. Okay, but... yeah. Slate looks at fucking Brown's like, what the fuck did I miss? <laughs> <laughs> Who the fuck's this guy? <laughs> 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 he he sees like watching him. You're pretty sure he walked away because Slake was looking at him. Uh, hey, is that the fucking council over there? What's uh, left of him? Um, Slake does some quick math. I only see four of them. Ain't there supposed to be fifth? Yes, there is. Fucking doors are even under the former government. <laughs> <laughs> the, the reincarnated one, yeah? Uh, do we, does Brennos know where that person was supposed to be? Oh. Um, f The majority of council members need to be in session. It's not uncommon where dwarves are off doing stuff. Maybe she was in session for part of it, or had a proxy. Like, she's or had, it, right? or had a proxy vote. She was some sort of stone, uh, stone-related divine caster. So either a cleric, a cleric of mountains, or um, a druid. Yeah, I, I you, you, you can make a druid, no, you can make it. You can make a knowledge. You can make a knowledge uh, religion if you want to know what class sure. she is. Sure. <clears throat> it's just one of those like. Oh, what, the druid wasn't there for, da like, daily-to-day -day business? Yeah, that's not... <laughs> Go there, be surprised. <laughs> um... Twenty-eight? Yeah, you're pretty sure she's a, uh, a druidess um, of stone and a follower of the dwarvish deity. Give me a second, which one is the one of mountains? Uh, do, do with mine? Yeah, it sounds right. Uh, mining do with gems, the, mining underground gems, underground exploration. Yeah, so she's uh, she's called the mother of mountains. Uh, it's said that she can earthquake. Like, awesome. Yeah. <laughs> give, give me a level up and see what we can earthquake and do. <laughs> give me a quake and do. <laughs> uh, what about the rest of you? Says the uh, the Inquisitor as he was listening to your conversation. Cool, here you got ascending. Apparently, the, some of those things he kind of points to the general or wherever the corpse is. They're pouring through a gate. We'll go deal with that. Um, and there's some goblins at Baldrin's Watch. We are going to go deal with that. Be careful, mother. You too, my son. Remember. Guard up, up, keep dropping that. There's a no, slight we're... shake of the helmet. <laughs> <laughs> it was some lesson he, some lesson he learned years ago. <laughs> Don't worry, Val. She's in good hands. Why, thank you, Widget. Ignoring what you're trying to do. <laughs> um, give me a second. The Inquisitor General Where's your druid? Uh, 
over here. <laughs> so he, he, he points to the ground in front of him like he expects you to to come over. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, sure. Um, give me one second. His soldiers are paying attention. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. One moment. Uh, just, just checking to see. Uh, I'll just, just be, I'll be there in a minute. This was, you know. The druid named Sonny Goodman. Oh, he knows your last. Oh, he's he's got some. Uh, last he's done some research. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, Sonny is going to fly to that spot and turn into a huge elephant. To have a conversation face oh! to face. <laughs> now shifting their shifting their thunder guns towards the big elephant. Let's find the sunny elephant. I don't know if it's yeah. as uh, 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 grand as you. Oh no, I love my sunny elephant. Um, give me a second. Uh, I picked that one on special. It's been used like twice. <laughs> Yeah, but the, the bad is usually where you go up with. Sunny bird, sunny dog. Sunny forms. Uh, oh, yeah, I got the sunny fint. Perfect. It's the so sunny fint. <laughs> <laughs> I love him. I love him. Oh, yeah, that. Oh, uh. It startles the soldiers for a moment. Hello. <laughs> I hear you've been a bit of a problem as of late. I don't recall as such. No. While your mind might be addled, that of the Imperium is not. Elephants never forget. He sneers at you. I also know that you have some pull amongst other druids here in Elsia Vale. He nods. I am the druid of Volcanica. Then I would concern yourself in particular with Elsia Vale first. I am deputizing you as a druid inquisitor in the name of the Imperium and the Five-Faced God. If there are any corruptions amongst the druidic elements of Elsia Vale, you will be held responsible. Mm. He raises his ring. Walk into it with the big old trunk. Big trunk. Yes. Okay, right. <laughs> <laughs> he pulls it back with his... <laughs> Slightly too caressy. <laughs> well, then consider, consider yourself deputized. All hail the five faced god, all hail the undying emperor. Long live Volcanica. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Mosey away. As a prize jewel of the Imperium. Mm. It is nice. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Artifice, what did that mean? <laughs> <laughs> we'll shrink down into a bat while we're having to go over to <laughs> Because it was made really loud as an elephant. Artifice, what did that mean? <laughs> <laughs> well, um, we'll discuss it, you know, after we're done today's fighting mm. worth it for using two wild james <laughs> worth. <laughs> worth. totally worth it <laughs> i'm looking at i've got this folder where a bunch of sunny forms are you know what one of my favorites are just from the token it's the sunny snake look how happy it is <laughs> <laughs> haven't used we've used that one once i think <laughs> yep, yep. Do you have a sunny monkey? Ah, <laughs> uh, there's a sunny badger, a sunny air elemental, a sunny dog, a sunny earth elemental, a sunny treant, a sunny fan to his bat form, which was pretty much his go-to. Which is just sunny. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
Nice. Okay. Um, where are your groups headed? So you spent 10 rounds of healing. I saw a bunch of uh, rolls uh, in the mm -hmm. pregame. Yeah. Uh, this was Quintessa using the majority of her fervor to create That's channels. That's the last of her fervor. Her last of her fervor. Interesting. She has nothing left for fervor. And how is everyone doing for hit points after that all of the uh, healing? After that, we, we resorted to um, wands. So, Cog, uh, Cog did some some repairing on people. Uh, there was some yeah. wand charges. Yeah, there were some individual spells cast. Sunny okay. casts a, a, a mass light wound. I'm still seeing damage on Barnabas. Uh, no, Barnabas. Oh, he's got three. Oh, there was a mass light wounds. He's good. Okay. There's still minus two strength on Eamon. There's yeah. 25 damage on Cog. Uh, yeah, he was insistent that we didn't spend charges. Four strength damage on Widget. Yep. We don't have a restoration. Uh, no, Sunny has one. It's oh. just the, the timing. So G Sunny can cast one. G1 still rocking 35 temporary hit points from all the fire from the fighting. <laughs> so, uh, Val Soren has uh, <clears throat> two. Uh, who has the negative? Who has the the uh, strength penalty over here? Uh, oh, that's Amon. Amon and Widget have the strength damage. Sunny, Sunny's going to cast one on Amon. Okay, we got the ability. In that time, he had the, he had time to do it. Yeah. So yeah, Amon's Amon's cool. ready to go. Amon's good to go. All right, are we joining one of these one of these groups? We're off to go cleanse the temple. I think Barnabas is going to re up his. Uh... Cleanse the temple and find the lady in Stoon. Mother of Stoon. Oh, yes. Barnabas re ups his uh, mirror images because <laughs> taking another beating is not fun. All right. right. Am I shutting down again? He says a little more quiet. No, yeah, we're walking. You know what you should do? You should wait a little bit and teleport <laughs> after I've shut down for a while. <laughs> <laughs> Is there some way we could get, like, a little ticker or something to figure out when you're going to wake up? I, I'm not building a ticker. People are going to think I'm a bomb or something. <laughs> but, you know, well... I, I kind of am. And he, 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 his, his, his eyes <laughs> flicker green, like that uranium green. But dwarfs to save. A city to bring to heal. Yeah, all right. Lead the way, Inquisitor. <laughs> Don't you start with that shade. Doppelgangers and gith whatever they fucking are. <laughs> and other traitors to the dwarves. All right, so you guys are physically running We there? are physically walking through the streets and... <laughs> Sticking your nose in business where it doesn't belong along the way. <laughs> All right, so Slake and Brenos are running off. <laughs> this would be a bad time to be a mugger or a pickpocket. <laughs> or, you know. I think this, uh, this harpy just dies out. Yeah, you, you run into the next chamber. Uh, when the red dragon breathed, it breathed all over the uh, the dead or dying dwarves that you had uh, incapacitated in the fight before. Uh, the prisoners, unfortunately, were amongst that group. Like, there, there are no survivors uh, in that room. Um, too much destruction on this day. All right, the other two groups. I think we should wait for Ahmed for Thogrim's teleportation. It sounds like this group is going to go to the Mountain Root Temple. Mm -hmm. Okay, how are you getting there? Uh, it looks like... Barnabas is going to teleport us. Sunny has a teleport left today. Before do you have starting to... a greater teleport? Sunny is always great. <laughs> Magic is always good. <laughs> <laughs> it never goes wrong. <laughs> and I'll open the chart. <laughs> <sighs> have I been to... Wait. Mountain? You've seen it through... Uh, your scry or okay. thing. Wait, did did Barnabas go into the Mountain Root Temple? He, he tried and then teleported to the wrong place. Remember he fucked up his teleports? Yep. So he ended up in the wrong... Like, we tried for a round and then he ended up in the wrong spot. Did he ever get there? I don't think he did. Did he? No, I don't think so. I, I wasn't there for that. So. <laughs> we tried to, We were trying to teleport in for like two rounds and it just didn't go. 
So. Okay. So. I, I don't I've think... seen it though. So. You've seen it how? Uh, through. It was described to him in detail through the well, telepathic I'll... one. So Sonny can Sonny can make the cast. Yeah. Uh, better make the cast because then I'll teleport us back. Sonny would like to go to that back chamber where we surprise the big army of dudes All on right, the left so hand I'm side. Gonna, I'm gonna cut you from here, put you onto the map where. Where is it? Uh, Mountain Ray Temple. I'll see your veil. Temple. Basically, over here. This M3A, I think, is the. That feels like the right room for a surprise. Okay, give me a percent. Uh, in, right in the. Uh, yep. In the mess hall. Okay. Yep, so Sonny is using his uh, spell staff to cast a teleport. We're at that part of the day. <laughs> Don't worry, we have a plane shift to get out. <laughs> <laughs> uh, eight we're just like we're there we're nice. still there oh. um there's only a one in ten chance that people are in the mess hall because there's something going on um uh, nope uh give me a moment so you appear in the mess hall uh that door is closed but you can hear the sounds of a pitch battle going on likely just in the next room You can hear the staff weapons going off and uh, yelling in 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 Gith. Okay, okay. Are there any Gizari? Yep. I need to pull them from one of the places. Grand Council Chamber. This seems slightly one-sided. <laughs> <laughs> Unless this is like Lord of the Rings style. <laughs> <laughs> I remember the gif being that shit. <laughs> <laughs> Unless the Zari are fucking amazing. <laughs> okay, uh, and there's one more thing. Uh, you also, standing there for a moment, hear the growl of a dragon. Sunny has taken more damage from dragon breaths than anything else in the campaign. <laughs> <clears throat> the growl of the dragon is met by Githzeri cheers as maybe a dragon is coming through. Uh, you can hear spells going off. Uh, there's a roar of a fireball that that licks underneath the uh, underneath the uh, the doorway, and I think initiative. Unless you guys are moving around in any any way, shape, or form to avoid the combat. Sunny doesn't really take charge of these sorts of things. And I think Cog is trying to prevent the death of his master. So I think... Yep. Zerth Zalith Exalion. I'm certain I butchered the pronunciation on that. Um, it was probably his focus on protecting. We need to get in there! <laughs> Says Cog. <laughs> Oh. 
just a moment. Let's see what we're dealing with. Uh, Barnabas is going to use his clairvoyance to have a look in the other room. Okay, you've got rounds of this left. I do, yes. Okay. Um, uh, standard action. Yeah, uh, roughly where the where we heard the dragon noise. <laughs> so we want to see what color that is. Okay, you can see a group of what can be described as green-skinned elite monks just thrashing um, these mobs of slightly less disciplined uh, Githyanki raiders. Uh, there is one group of Githyanki that seem to be holding their own that are trading spells with these monks, so the monks are also spellcasters. Um, they seem to be nullifying like each other's spells while they're, they're fighting. Uh, some much tougher looking Githyanki are, are, are approaching the Gizere troop and the growling of the dragon is causing some of the Githyanki raiders to cheer um, and the dragon roars seem to be coming from uh, back in the chamber. There's one Gizere amongst them that looks like he's doing the same trick that Cog does. Where he appears in many places at like once. He hops out and just decimates a troop. And decimates a in. troop and, <laughs> and, and hops back in. Yeah, um, it, it does look like the fighting has been going on while you guys have been resting. Uh, and at one point it looked like troops were coming from both sides. Okay, so this clairvoyance isn't working, so we'll do a greater invis, open up the door, and have a look. <laughs> what do you mean it's not working? Well, I, I can't see the dragon, right? No, uh, it's not in the room. All right, well, we'll have a look, see. Okay. Uh, yeah, Cog, uh, I got a message from Ahmed from the Ether saying that he wants to hop in and do the thing. <laughs> Cog can do what he wants. I think the rest of us should wait for a communal protection from energy. <laughs> oh, we all have them. For everything? Uh, yes. Protection oh. or resist? Resist. Not. Uh, did you want a protection on top? It, yeah. Okay. Because yeah. I had resist before, and I still got freaking cut in half. <laughs> that is it's true. You, yeah, you, yeah, you, you, yeah, you, you, yeah, you. <laughs> All right, so Val is in this group. Uh, Cog, Thogram is not. Barnabas is. The Dragon Rider is. Sunny is here. Mm -hmm. Widget's not. Gazere are. Uh, Brennos is not here. Slake is not. Eamon, where did Eamon go with this? Oh, yeah, he's yeah. with us. And Quintessa is not with the other group. Did a Good Hope go up? Or I think it's still running. It'd mm -hmm. still be running, yeah. Okay. Uh, and Sunny gets a plus four from being at that. Plus four on top of the. Okay. Yep. That will change things a little bit. Hey, Sunny. So need a beat. Mm -hmm. Surrender. All right, Cog, Cog goes first. There is a, a pitch a pitch battle in progress. Uh, what is Cog doing? I, I have a, a missive that says Cog, Cog jumps in with the key point as a move. <laughs> uh, if we say that we're casting a spell and they look like they're holding their own, might wait for the wait for the spell, but I think it's like go out there. Do, 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 do. Okay, and he's attacking the uh, the Gish troop, the, I think the spellcasters. He's, he's gonna attack the Gish troop. Okay, and he can see invisible. Uh, yeah, he should, be able he, to should see have, invisible. he should have seen invisibility up and all. He's going to attack the Gish troop, and then he's going to end up either he's going to he'll end up either here or here, one of the two. Okay, and then Barnabas opened. There was the one that opened the door, right? Yeah. Uh, After putting up the. Oh, uh, it was. Sorry, I'm being told that he he delays until there's bard song. Is what the, I, th I think it's too late. The missives are coming in after actions. Yeah, he's jumping around. He's yeah. got Bar <laughs> Barnabas was doing too many things to also yep. have put up the bard song. Although it's a move action, so Barnabas cast a spell 
open the door. No, he's no. not. He's not going to start yelling while he's <laughs> creeping around the. <laughs> God, you don't. You don't want troops to come over there. Got it. Yes, exactly. All right. There are there are flashes. There are flashes of the staff weapons and a couple of grenades that go off. Um, uh, the Gazeri Zerth troop look very adept at scrambling out of the way of uh, of explosions. Mm-hmm. Um, um, not quite a troop of cogs, but a troop of very competent high level spell casting monks. Yep. They do have signs of damage, uh, and uh they won't be able to take on this onslaught of troops all by them themselves, especially if the dragon arrives. Cog jumps in, bah, 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 uh flashes throughout the room, much to the chagrin of the Gish. Uh, uh can, uh, can the Gish be uh or can the Gith I can't remember. Can the Yankees be <laughs> <laughs> be flank. Yeah, they are. They are humanoids. Um, they they can be critted and they can be flanked. Uh, all of the all of the Gith Yankee right now have their blurs up, but I think Cog has Heartseeker on his yep. on his blades, yeah. so he is he all is right. so, suitable for fighting these creatures. So one d twenty plus thirty four. Uh, I think he has to spend it. His mythic prana strike requires a mythic point. Uh, I it wouldn't be running from before because it's only for one minute. Uh, I think he. It's like mythic power attack. Yeah. Uh, I think it's just. I think he's gonna just take the, the penalty on attacks. Okay. This this troop is um pretty tough. Their AC is right now forty. Okay. Well, maybe that was a mistake. Holy jump! AC forty three. AC 34. Uh, then the second pair of attacks would be AC 32 and AC 36. So there is one successful strike. Two. I'm seeing an AC 50 in there. Uh, that shouldn't be possible. Oh, did Ahmed roll and then... Oh. Hey, I could... You can pin tweets oh, weird okay unpin this message <laughs> <laughs> new functionality whoops i rolled before okay, okay. it yeah. doesn't matter it's the same net result uh there's a hit um so uh, all right 67 damage i will tick off a mythic point because of your mythic piranha strike all right because you use your mythic piranha strike now Six, roll your second i'm assuming that's non-lethal because that extra 2d6 that is in there all right so he's He's uh, bashing a bunch of the Gizari, or sorry, Gith Yankee. Okay. Uh, and then I'll check because he used he did use the mythic. Uh, that last one actually is a, is a hit. Um, the, that twenty five plus uh, the, there's a plus four on all of them because he spent the mythic point. Okay. So two d eight plus thirty four plus seven d six plus two d six. It's another sixty eight damage. All right, with that second strike, he has bloodied the troop. Nice. Uh, knocking many of them, many of their numbers out. It does look like uh, many of the Gith Yankee raiders uh, do want to uh, do bad things to Cog at this point. Val Soren. Uh, he, he, uh, he's going to end up in the true. Okay. I think. Beside his master, I think feels like. Good of you to arrive. Not a moment too late. Whatever is it? Ah! <laughs> Whatever, like ha! Ah! Okay, <laughs> the 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 monks file in around him, like they accept Cog uh, after, especially after his display of a uh, a very high level technique um, that not all of their number may know, but they may all aspire to know. Could you imagine a troop doing that? A whole troop. No. I get to hit you, and I get to hit you, and I get to hit you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. Troops scale, dude. They scale. Val Soren no. uh, glances at, like, Sonny and Barnabas, like, should I go in to help? Wait for it. <laughs> All right, he'll delay for a moment. He wants to go. It looks like he wants to go flying in there to attack. Uh, the Gis- oh, fine. Fucking go. I'll figure it out. 
All right, Val, uh, with many spells a running. No one updated his spells. Give me a second. Were they on his other sheet? There we go. Uh, he would have had to re up his. Your image. His mirror image, yep. Well, he had seven left from the last fight, so I think... You're probably still, good, then. They're still going. Yep. Uh, shield would have still been going. He probably recast it anyways. No, he doesn't... He It's... 14 minutes. That's fine. Mm -hmm. Blade Tutor Spirit. This is one... That's, is that around? <clears throat> Minute per level. Cool. That's still running. Um, long arm still running. Yeah, I think he's got all of his spells from from the previous fight still going. Okay, so he's good to go. Good, good to go. Okay. Uh, he's going to fly in. There's no haste, so... He can reach the Gish troop from there. He saw they were difficult to hit. So he's going to burn a Magus point so that he adds his Intelligence modifier to Strike. Called Arcane Ac Accuracy as a swift action. Okay. Yeah, he's only used three of his Magus points. He's got 19 per day, so we'll use, use one of those. Um, his plus five weapon is still running with all of the elements and uh, let's see 1d20 plus no bard song but good hope is running plus nine for his int modifier plus one for uh, enhanced blade critical threat plus, uh, ac 59 <laughs> Nine plus one, he's got the ability to add his intelligence modifier to confirm critical hits. So he rolls a 70 to confirm the critical hit. He crits an amazing crit with 1d4 bleed. Bleed doesn't apply to troops, but the amazing part does. So 3d10 plus 34. 536 times 3 and then this troop has protected itself against uh, let me see he's got all the elements running right now one two and then he has three of the elements are actually bursting. Which, right. would, which would be fire, shock, and ice. Uh, normally times two crit does d10, but he amazing critted. They're not protected against sh uh, ice. So that's an extra 2d10 plus 1d6. All right, the critical hit does 134 damage to the troop. Nice. And incapacitates the troop. Hooey. They had 300 hit points between cock between cock and foul. <laughs> cock goes in and beats them all up, and then and then Val just from afar with his shadow weapon has this impossible reach, which cleaves through their. Uh, cleaves through their might. Uh, there is there isn't even like a cheer from the Gizzeri Zerth troop, but they they you notice that they all tense uh, instead. They've they've got a, a great amount of discipline. There's just a general roar from some of the Githyanki raiders. Um, the Gizzeri are going to uh, take a moment to start to wholeness of body themselves, and all of their damage goes away. They are going to reposition, making sure that uh, Cog and the Zerth, uh, Zalus Exalion are still in there. And they move up. 
Uh, Sunny. Um. All right, so two killers have come out of that doorway. <laughs> a, a couple of blasts from staff weapons have targeted the doorway. Uh, they <laughs> they know that <laughs> they know that things came from over there. Hmm. Well, I'm just a little bat. Who would attack a little bat? <laughs> little. I am the Batman. <laughs> All right. um, is the big so Sunny's gonna go fly into the room uh, just so you can see. Okay, is... this back doorway is open, and you could see some dead troops lining the hallways, or sorry, some dead soldiers lining the hallways. Uh, okay, and the roaring of the dragon seems to be coming from that direction, up up this way. Okay. Sonny's going to fly. You gonna are, fly. You, are you invisible or are you visible? I'm, I'm visible, but I am a bat. <laughs> okay. I am tiny little bat. <laughs> you can see these, these Githyanki raiders that were hunkering down behind some rubble. Like, are all looking at this little bat <laughs> flying in. <laughs> okay, the little bat is going to cast an anti-life shell and just chill on the other side of the door. <laughs> How big is the anti-life shell? Ten foot mobile radius. Okay, so you got this. Follows me. This radius. It prevents living things. I don't know, which way do you want to project it? Because it's... Uh... I want to block the fucking okay. doorway, there sir. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, we could go... Yeah, they, well, that'll be good. We'll see what happens if the, uh, <laughs> if the troops try to attack me. <laughs> Just gonna hang out there, just hiding there with their little, their little bubble. <laughs> you hear this horrible chorus of voices in Fey, all high pitched. Oh, the stone skin king! Ah! And they all come pouring out of the back rooms, as the um, as the troop of quicklings are now attacking the Zerth. <clears throat> Those bastards! We didn't get them. <laughs> Um, Cog has reach. Cog does have reach. Uh, they can spring attack. Is Cog with the thing they're attacking? Uh, Cog is not the thing they're attacking, so Cog does get an AOO as at the troop as the quicklings are running out. Cog also has heart seeker, so he gets through their invisibility through moving quickly. I'm so... It's just these little things, these little bastards come scrambling out of those back rooms and they're just so quick, little streaks. Uh, the 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 Gazeri apparently did not know they were there. Um, the Gazeri are flat footed and they're being uh, they're being snuck. Because they're monks. Forty. Yeah, Cog does damage to the to the quickly <laughs> troops. Uh, I don't think sneak attack goes off, but I'm just gonna pull one of them off to the side to represent the, the troop damage. He's going to slap around for 47. 47 damage? Okay. Yeah, you, you, you sent a couple of the quicklings flying through the air, their their bodies broken against the rubble. Uh, but the Gazeri troop, they are getting injured. They're getting snuck attacked by AoE. Yep. <laughs> they, take, they take 24 damage this round. Uh, and then the little bastards all just duck amongst corpses like their 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 group is hiding amongst corpses over here you can see one of them it might be because he's simple or he has a uh, uh something like something wrong with him but he's he's like amongst the gith yankee elite raiders <laughs> stabbing <laughs> down people <laughs> and he realizes he's alone and then goes darting uh darting towards the gith yankee raiders they are naturally evil beings. <laughs> oh, they're just madcaps. Uh, Gith Yankee elite troops. Okay, this um, this group of raiders uh, is going to step forward, and that's a step, and they start attacking the Zerth. Mm -hmm. Doing their troop damage. For 24. Okay, the Zerth are back to being injured, as injured as they were before they started healing. Um, there's 
like one of the officers in this group is going to fire a um, one of his staff weapons, which is a touch attack at the flying Valsoran. Hitting touch AC of 24. His touch AC before spells and and such is 31. Uh, so no images. Yeah, just a, a blast from a staff weapon goes off. Um, the beam glancing over Valsoran's head. This group of raiders is going to try to attack the bat. They've seen the bat before. You guys, you were here during the last combat. Uh, <laughs> uh, what happens when they encounter the shell? They can't get through it if they're alive. Is there so are they? Is there SR as part of the uh, the spell? Uh, yes, there is SR. Okay. Uh, are, but are they animal aberration, dragon, fade, giant, humanoid, magical beast, monstrous humanoid, ooze, plant, vermin? Um, it does not affect constructs, elementals, full outsiders, or undead. No, they they are not full outsiders. They have... sorry, it says it's, it does say outsiders. So if they're like, uh, if, I think nope. no. Okay, there's a difference between being uh, extra planner, meaning yep. you're not on your home plane, versus uh, uh, mm -hmm. an outsider. Um, they are humanoid. Okay, so they can't they can't pass the barrier. Okay, you do need... Is there SR involved? Yes, there is. Okay, you need to roll an SR because get Yankee have SR as a race. Uh, Dragon was in that list too, so I'm hoping that one's alive. <laughs> so... Now, I'm not going to go 11 plus their, their hit dice as a troop because I think that formula is wrong in the opposite direction, but I might add like four or five just because there's so many of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. So, that makes sense to me. Uh, so, basically, 10 plus the CR of the troop equals... Uh, uh, 22. So 32. Alright, so you, you're you keeping them at bay. So they waste an action, kind of come running at you, they smack into this barrier and they're, and they're now like swarming around the barrier and they're trying to attack you. There's one officer amongst the group that fires his staff. <laughs> no, so he's like... <laughs> oh, he's, he's, he's like whirling his staff around, it's got a blade at the end and then he kind of like levels down the end without the blade that has got this big like, almost like a like a flower bud that's glowing with magical energy, and then it blasts towards uh, you. Uh, I'm two minutes from coming back. I'm I'm done with the thing, so just gonna finish something up. I'll be right back. Okay. Touch AC thirty five, uh, and it's a yeah. it, it's a fire blast. Hey. Okay. Sunny so gets touched for sixteen fire damage. He gets absorbed by a spell. Yeah, okay. You, you, yeah. He tags you with this weird <laughs> oh. beam weapon. <laughs> Some oh, wait, wait, sort wait of a sec, wait a sec, wait a sec. Uh, laser. <clears throat> roll for images. He might destroy my defenses. Oh, okay. How many images? I got two images left. Nope. Hit Sunny. Perfect. <laughs> the best case scenario. <laughs> That's what we wanted. Yay. Ah, you see the officer. He, he, he expected you to explode because you were a little bat. He goes up to another, he drops his staff weapon and draws somebody else's staff weapon from their back. Like he, he saw what happened. What color is the gem on this one? Blue. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that was the elite troops. Let me see if there are any others that are coming in from the back room. Okay, we're going to add two things. We're going to add portal to the initiative. It's going to go last, but it represents things coming through the portal. Now you're playing with portals. And um, there is a surprise. Is it Stone King the Dragon Man? <laughs> <laughs> because they might have told us about the surprise. <laughs> Please have an SR of less than 32. Plus 7, <laughs> and I'll roll its initiative. The door. <laughs> oh, it'll go. Oh. <laughs> oh, it'll go early next round. Okay. Um, Get Yankee Raiders. Okay. Uh, we've got two groups of uh, elite troops. I'm just going to delete one row. 
These are the much more common looking raiders. Um, I think one of them is going to fire a volley at Sunny. Uh, not all of them have staff weapons. It's, this seems to be more more common uh, missile weapons. Throwing Javelins, champion. throwing axes, weird boomerangs. Um, yeah, they're, they're throwing stuff at you. Ooh, a little reflex save. I think it's 20. Okay. And he does a little baddie loop de loop thing. Yeah, you, you, you duck down a bunch of horrid weapons. It, these might be a, a vast array of weapons that they've raided and taken from other victims and cultures. Like they're, they, they're throwing their war trophies at me. Oh. Yep. Uh, and then this group is not engaging the Gazaria's Earth directly. They are also throwing uh, a hodgepodge of weaponry at the Zerth troop that has evasion as a troop. And they simply scramble out of the way. Some of the monks actually catch the axes and, and, uh, and javelins that are being thrown at them. They're going to move around to probably get a better view or a, a better, uh, or maybe move towards where there's bad things coming out. And I think those are all the troops for now uh, until the portal belches out more from the astral plane or wherever it goes. Uh, Eamon. Woogie, boogie, boogie, boogie. <laughs> Eamon looks to Barnabas like, what do you want me to do, sir? <laughs> uh, go out there. <clears throat> Whatever. <laughs> uh, he, he does ask, who am I protecting? Oh, just keep yourself alive for now. <laughs> it's really easy to stay alive in this room. <laughs> Uh, are you flying or are you on the... He's flying. Okay. Uh, you can fly. You can get there in one move. They're all yelling at you and throwing stuff as Eamon comes flying in. Yep. Uh, I am not going to... Does Barnum speak Gith yet? Or... No. You, go right no. where this is learning, right? You'll learn next week. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Right, yeah, uh, the party's very close to 15th level. <laughs> this <laughs> giant battle <laughs> oh, that has been over the last three games. Yeah, that might put them over the top. Uh, the top Adamantine the Scimitar. No bonuses with power attack plus 20. All right. Yeah, these look like more like rank and file Gizere troop. Um, maybe irregular troops, or at least by the way they're dressed. Oh, good hope. Uh, nat 20? Yeah, you, you start slicing through them. AC 33? Uh, it's a critical hit. I okay. hazard to guess that Baldron might have decided that we're the heroes of this battle. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, slashing reduced. Minus one int, minus one. So just reduced. So regular hit. Yep. Oh, well. You kill one guy real good. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, AC 32. That's also a hit. All right, so two hits. Uh, that's a critical threat. Oh, that is a critical threat. Yeah, with with your Slice scimitar. Yep. To try to suck. <laughs> it wouldn't have been a crit against the Githyanki Gish with all their spells and magic and, and fighting defensively, but yeah, the, the Githyanki Raiders are... Chumps? Are no match to Aemon. Again, reduced. Seriously, That's fine. That's you, fine. you kill another guy really good. <laughs> you told. You, you oh, uh, additional to effect: target stunned for one round. Yeah, there's uh, you one. Knocked him out. One guy is really <laughs> stunned. <laughs> All right, man. Uh, two D. Now, AOE effects that cause statuses. Do those affect troops? We're we're kind of in the realm that it's not. It's supposed to be anything that affects an individual. So, not really. Maybe. 48 damage. 48 damage total? Okay. Yep. Uh, you bloody the troop. 
We'll be testing these rules in a couple of rounds here. Yep. <laughs> All right, so so Eamon, Eamon wades into the troop, at kill, at killing a bunch of them, knocking them out, and, and uh, chopping one really, really badly in half, and stunning another one with a with a um, like a pommel punch to the to the head. Yeah, they, the 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 Gith Yankee are humanoids, and they can definitely die. Uh, they don't burst into flamey piles of ash like the no they don't disappear the like like the doppelgangers do they, there's proof that these things are here uh gilgathorn is not here he is a uh, babbling idiot um <laughs> sorry not sorry <laughs> barnabas all right uh barnabas is going to start a bard song and I don't know how this is going to work, but we're going to try it anyway. We're going to open a hungry pit in the middle of the Gith Yankee Raiders. Okay. A hungry pit. A hungry pit. I don't know how this is going to work with the troop, but we're going to, I'm going to force you to decide right now. <laughs> well, it's a 10 by 10 hole that has a, a ramp all a the way slope around by it. another 15 yeah. so it affects i think basically all of them i think yeah if you drew it, let me draw your hunger if i put it right in the middle so there's the pit itself and then there's the ramp yeah so it's the hole yeah okay what's the reflex save of your 27 hungry pit okay they do get a plus 15 on their save. They fail. Okay, so some of them fall into the pit, which is 100 feet deep. Okay, roll the damage against the troop. Uh, it's 32 damage. Yeah, that this whole troop is basically disappearing into this horrible Sarlacc pit. <laughs> And it's, DC, <laughs> and it's DC 35 climb check oh, to get out. Is there an SR check? Oh, uh, no, there's not. I don't think so. Not with a pit. Not with a pit spell. Oh, no. And it's DC 35 to get to climb out. Okay. And 46 damage every round for uh, 14 rounds. 4d6. 4d6, yeah. Yeah, that's 4d6. Okay, so this troop disappears into the extra-dimensional <laughs> extra Sarlacc pit. <laughs> they all slip and fall into it. Uh, yeah, they... You, yeah. Watch your step! <laughs> Do you, are you, you were greater in this, right? Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Scrambling forward down the hallway... Is a Gith Yankee knight, for lack of a better term, um, riding a dragon. And two moves. Um, what was the SR check on the uh, on the thirty two? Thirty two. Okay, and then three moves. Their movement is interrupted. <laughs> the, the dragon at least can't get through, and the Gith Yankee rider it would be five plus his level. So yeah, you, they they stop. <laughs> Sonny's just being quiet on the other side of the door. Can't see me. I'm not here. <laughs> the the dragon spends his dragon action to like claw at the barrier <laughs> and then the rider is going to see if he can understand what is going on here there'd be tricky druids about <laughs> he didn't see the spell cast what's the level of the spell sixth yeah he doesn't understand what this barrier is You've, you've confused the rider and the dragon for a moment. The, the dragon's roaring angrily. These, these raiders are cheering like they know a dragon is coming, but... 
All right. All right. All right. The portal. Um, uh, one is nothing. Two, it's uh, um, reinforcements. Three, it's something very dangerous. Three. Oh, seriously? One and three? Guys, <laughs> this portal's a gift. It's the XP that never ends. <laughs> All right, so we kill, we finish, we we we, stay, we we do this for like six sessions. No, I think they close the portal. I the the level game. eighteen. I don't want to play Minecraft where we build XP farms and shit like that. No. <laughs> because you've said that anything new that comes into the battlefield doesn't give you XP. Mythic is fine. Thank you. Mother. <laughs> It'll be infinite, but no XP. <laughs> good, good job. All right, guys, I'll deal with this real quick. You've already got enough XP for your 15th level, so... Uh... <laughs> I'm okay with slowing the roll down. <laughs> uh, Cog. Okay. Oh, no, sorry. Portal and then the surprise... Oh, the surprise is already rolled in there. Okay, Cog. Okay, so we've got... These guys. You spent one key point. I forgot to tick off the key point that you spent. You spent one mythic. Point yeah, all your... all your dimensional cogs come back to you, right? Like, yeah, just leave them there because he get they get lost when the uh, uh, the key. Yeah. yeah I okay, I ticked point. it. I I ticked it off. Okay. The mythic and point you, I ticked off. You took the okay. Okay, good. Thank you. Okay, uh, cogs gonna repeat on these guys and these guys. So he's gonna go. These guys have all fallen <laughs> down a hungry pit. You can't oh. see that. You can't see them. You can hear them. There's a there's a horrible mash of creatures a hundred feet down <laughs> being so crushed let's see. to death. Uh, I can move at two hundred and forty. So here, one. Why isn't it working? There we go. Huh? 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 And back to here. To fifty-five. 2240. Oh, I have to slow it down. I have to maybe that, cut. That's, uh, that's I have to a, cut a corner. That's too. a rock. Okay, so so the 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 images are going to be closer. They're going to be like here, 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 there. And there's going to be. No, I'm going to do another one. Here, here. There we go. Oops. There. And then he comes back. Okay, uh, who are the who? I what are the who's I got see, guns? I see you have learned our technique, and put it to good use. There have been many enemies, Master. None like these, though. These uh, are. Yeah, the the troops do have. Uh, these ones are poorly equipped compared to this group. This group oh, okay, looks so... like it has enough has enough of the staff weapons to actually like do a barrage. Oh, okay. So Cog's gonna focus on these guys, and if they're still fighting, he'll he'll focus everything on on them until they die. Okay, they're also the ones that are attacking Sunny. <laughs> okay, we're gonna take them out first. Um, <laughs> Sunny, who's got a bubble up that seems to be keeping a dragon at bay. A dragon is Bard Song up now? Bard Song is up. Okay, good. And you are not so, you are not flanking to get the Yankee Riders. What Riders? Or sorry, Raiders. Okay, uh, then I'll put a cog here and ignore these guys. Ignore the guys over there. What is your creature type? My creature type? Living uh, construct. Living construct. Uh, which counts as a construct? I, I guess. You're not a animal aberration, dragon fae, giant humanoid. Are you humanoid? Um, no, he's an augmented construct living. He still has the elf subtype, but he's not a primary humanoid. Which means he can come into my shell. He, he can, can come, come give me a shell. hug. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this is a very lonely spell because my friends can't come and touch me. No, I can hang out with you. It's cool. So uh, Cog's going to focus on these guys, and then he's going to uh, focus on these guys if they're still alive. Uh... Oh, uh, he's here. I'll, I'll give him a flank. I'll go over here. And I'll just put an image there. So uh, we'll focus on these guys. 
Um, so Bard Song is up. 9, 10, 11. Okay, much better. And 38. Much better. Okay, cool. Uh, so the first uh, group, first flurry, I I haste is up or not? Uh, no. No. Haste is not up. No haste. Okay. First flurry. Uh, 57 and 47. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Is that 57 a critical threat, or you don't have improved? No, I don't. Got rid of that in order to do this. <laughs> so they take um, 167 damage. Wow. Non lethal? Yeah. Okay, you've more than bloodied the troop. You're still up? Okay, that's weird. Uh, oh, right, okay. Nine, six. Uh, 50 and 48, yeah. Let's do two more of these. Yeah, you only need one. Oh. You knock out the troop with 84. Okay. They take another, they take the other, the other hit and, as well. And then which, oh, they, 70 damage. These guys do? Same, same same group. Uh, oh, uh, they're they're. Oh, these guys are down. Okay. After your third hit, they're down. Then I'll hit these guys. Okay. And that, I'm flanking that with uh, seventy dam that seventy damage incapacitates that troop. Yeah, because I'm flanking with what's his name with um. Amen. Yep. Amen. You're also Thanks. flanking with Val. He's got a fifteen foot reach. So. Oh, nice. Um. His, pop, pop, pop. his shadowy he weapon creeps along the floor. Plus, he's got long arms. Uh, he'll actually he'll he'll end up next to Sunny. He'll end up next to Sunny. A, a, can I see Sunny there, or are you hiding? Uh, yeah, you can see Sunny there. He's, he's, okay, he's if I can see Sunny well. there, I'm like he's let's. Being shot at and... <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm gonna hide. Yes, I'm gonna. Though. My images stay there. Uh, he's defensive. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Val kind of leapfrogs Amen to go attack this troop that he's gonna flank with the dimensional cog. Yep. Oh, oh, the Empire! I brought my friends, Master. They're really good. <laughs> he hits. Uh, and hits again. Master, Master, have you seen my friends kick ass? <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, we'll see. Um, we'll see. 2d10 plus uh, 34 plus 34 and then Bard Song's a plus 4 mm -hmm. plus all the elements twice 132 yeah he kills this troop can we see the dragon up here yeah like, can we see yeah. these yeah, it's, pu it's pushing against some sort of barrier that uh, it seemed uh, it can't move. It's so uh, what you're going. saying, what you're saying is I can kick the crap out of it. That's what you're saying. <laughs> In a tiny little confined space, hop around and get him, boy. Get him, <laughs> get him. <'em. laughs> uh, it's the rider that I want to take out first. What's the rider carrying? In in dwarven, you can hear defend the temple, oh, and then something you. very heavy cometh this way. God damn it. Oh, they, they're supposed to be a caretaker. Don't worry, he's just some doddering old dwarf. And somehow the metallic golem-like thing that is charging forward is moving at a movement rate of 50. Oh. Boom, 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 boom. Well, that could go through the bubble. <laughs> <laughs> he's going to juggernaut that wall. The thing is no. going is going right through the wall. Uh, it needs to roll a five or higher to bust through the masonry. So there's there's oh. the wall of the, there's the wall of the temple, and then there's my spell wall that's there. I, uh, yo, yeah, that's right. So what's there's the what's the bust DC of the? Uh... 
Oh, like give me a second. Uh, it's I believe it's a three a three thick wall of stone. Uh, we we had that previously. Uh, it would be. Uh, okay, so it gets one inch per four. That is three inches. That's twenty six, and then it's uh, triple thick. Uh, so thirty two. Thirty two. Okay, it's a huge uh, creature. What's the bonus of its strength check for uh, plus this thing? eight? Plus eight. Yep, and then it has a plus fifteen. So plus twenty-three. Oh, it got stuck by the fucking stone wall. <laughs> I like magic. <laughs> Alright, so that's two moves. On its third move, it's gonna attempt to do it again. Like it just keeps on going forward. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and then this form of golem has an extra move action each turn. Can it use a move action to break a barrier? Yeah, yeah. I think it's it's just trying to overrun. So it's got one last time. Now, if I fail this one, he'll be squeezing. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> Get him! <laughs> show him! Who, can... Show him who's daddy golem. <laughs> You could you could see this this um, this really dusty massive golem. It's moving way too quick to quick to be an iron golem, and uh, underneath some of its um, like a patina of um, uh, of oxidation, it does look like parts of it are made out of a shiny silvery uh, metal. Th Thog Thogram is like the Scrooge McDuck of of constructs. He's like, <laughs> he's like I, something's itchy. <laughs> the oh, yeah, it's it's completely <laughs> ignoring your uh, oh, yeah, yeah, your, your just... anti life barrier. I, so, so he's gonna look over to Cog. I think there's a construct knocking on the door. <laughs> I'll get it. Don't worry. We will call it the gleaming guardian goal uh, construct. And the dragon and the guardian are both non they're both squeezing right now, yeah? Uh it's just the golem that's squeezing. It's the golem squeezing. It's the golem okay. squeezing. All right. Well, we got decks of zero anyways. Okay. Penalty. Mm. Minus four AC, minus four to hit. You hear telepathically from Zerth Zalus Exalian Cog. Did your companions bring a method or means to keep the gate closed? We did not see. We do not see the gate. We don't know what we need to close it. I can battle it without tiring. Give you a chance to find something to close it with. Okay. Although uh, I'm not getting XP for it. <laughs> <laughs> you, you will get XP for closing the gate and defeating the enemies that are currently the, the, on the, the field. The gate is an encounter. Right? Yep, yep. It's summoning creatures. They're summons. And, you know. Sunny. <laughs> oh, so the Gazeri <laughs> talked. They're going to heal themselves. Take a moment. Uh, and ready to punch the stupid friggin the quicklings. <laughs> yeah. Quicklings, yeah. Ready, ready to fire, <laughs> fire, not fireball. Some of them. Magic missile. Yeah, they're not going to fireball the quicklings. So uh, yeah, they they move. Magic missile. They quicklings. actually they actually move forward speedily. This is one of those days where it's like, so I can't turn the construct into wood because I've already cast that. <laughs> uh... All right, the quicklings. <laughs> <laughs> oh damn it. Barnabas. Yeah. Do you do you take sneak attack? No. <laughs> <laughs> That didn't sound super convincing. I, I, 
okay, so I'll figure out what yes. Sunny's doing while you stab him with quicklings because they're not going to overlap. <laughs> okay. Uh, All right. So Barnabas <clears throat> is getting chewed up a little bit. Um, as their quicklings stabbing all around where they hear a person yelling. 24 damage. Okay. And I need a fortitude save against poison. I don't know if you guys put up delay poisons or not today. Uh, delay poison is that. Okay. Yep. All right. So you're, you're not getting KO'd via KO poison. No. You should have it up, yeah. Uh, and this was a spring attack. So they all <laughs> end up hiding underneath tables <laughs> in the mess hall. <clears throat> bragging about how much blood each of them got on their blades. Um, okay. I, I saw them. Yeah, you can still see the troop. They just have cover. Oh, okay. Uh, all right. Sure thing, champs. Okay, so Sonny is going to use his... Uh, um, <clears throat> uh, you know, I'm pretty certain it's minute level. I always want to confirm that my... Uh, uh, Mage hand is not mage hand. I'm having such a stupid. Come on, brain, wake up. Uh, spectral hand. Uh, I believe it's a minute. I believe it's minutes per level. It is minutes per level. Okay. We're going to use spectral hand to use our arcane bond to cast disable construct. Nice. On the big guy in the doorway because screw you bud I know a construct guy who's got a bunch of crazy constructs so we're gonna just do one of those okay uh, this thing is immune to magic immune to any spell or spell ability that allows SR no SR on disabled construct okay <laughs> otherwise that would be a stupid spell <laughs> <laughs> would be a stupid well there's spell. a whole there's a whole group of constructs that are not golems Okay. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> what is the uh, DC of the spell as I add two to it? Save it. Through. It's a will save. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, the will save You, you is... have this spell prepared? No, I use my arcane bond oh, to your cast this heightened. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, sorry, no, not heightened. I can't heighten it with my arcane bond, but I'm, I'm casting it. Um... Uh, I learned it. I, I know a guy who's got constructs that go nuts. <laughs> yep, makes sense. You, uh, you learned so, this from Cog, who learned it yeah. from the spell book that the the clock guy Thogram. in uh, Thogram. Yeah, sorry. Uh, so it's a DC 23 will save. It's DC a, 22 will save. It's got a plus 10 will save. There we go. <sighs> One. <laughs> what happens to it? Um, Oh, sorry. If the if the construct is normally immune to magic, it gets a plus four bonus on the save. It's it rolled one. in that one. <laughs> no, it's, it's helpless. It, it uh, it's basically it's, it's hold person for robot for constructs. Okay, so, so it's going to get a, a save each round, <coughs> but it's 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 held at the end of each of its turn. Uh, each round, it gets a new save. Okay, it'll be lit for fourteen rounds until it makes a save. All right. I mean, he's for, for, for 14 rounds. <laughs> all right, then the quicklings attack Barnabas, and they're all laughing about uh, how much blood they got on their blades. Um, he's really got a smart mouth, doesn't he? Yeah, let's shove it for him. No, let's stick an apple in it. Uh, we're going to... Uh, wait, wait a sec, where are the quicklings? Because they, 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 they went after Barnabas, right? They went after Sonny. So Sonny did his thing, and the quicklings went running after Barnabas. Okay, I'm just going to quickly check. I've got quick and shield, quick and true strike... Quick and fairy fire, quick and stone call. That one might be useful. Um, and they've got quick and ling. They got quick and ling. All right, yeah, no, we're, we're, I think we're good. All right, all right, we're okay. All right, the Gith Yankee troops, they're all down and bleeding. However, there is one that got belched forth from the. Um, the highly spellcasting. Another unit of highly spellcasting uh, Gish have appeared. <laughs> It's getting real busy in that hallway. <laughs> Can they see any targets? They can't quite. There's a lot of meat and metal. No, I think they're going to put up some defenses. 
get Yankee Raiders. They're all down. There's a bunch of screaming in this. Oh, yeah. Uh, no, it's on bar.